Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. And if not, I hope I can make it a little better. So last time we had a go at making bubble tea. And I thought this time we could do some art inspired by it. So let's get started. <laughs> I'd like to do a few different pictures inspired by bubble tea, but this first one must be inspired by the bubble tea I made. We decided it was strawberry flavour, but I kind of love the it didn't have a label. <laughs> um, and it kind of reminded me of Sailor V, if you know that character from the Sailor Moon universe. So I thought it would be really fun if we could draw Sailor V with a bubble tea. So this is just be a really dodgy sketch because I absolutely cannot remember what she looks like. I'll have to look her up. But I know she has a mask. with it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to lighten the lines a little bit with my kneaded rubber. I used my erasable colouring pencils again. They're really useful, I have to say. If you're considering getting them, I really do recommend the Oxford Helix erasable colouring pencils because they're so cheap. They're mm, not great as colouring pencils, but for doing line art, they're kind of amazing. If I was Oxford Helix, I think I'd rebrand them <laughs> as sketching pencils. <laughs> okay, so, oops, Sailor B. There's a bit lighter now. I've got my brushes. I've got some watercolours. These are actually new to me. Um, I'm actually a watercolour novice in general, uh, but I did binge watch uh, the entirety of the new uh, watercolour challenge series, so maybe that helps. <laughs> we'll just have a go and we'll see. I've also got my two pots of water because I know that's really important when you do watercolour. One to clean your brush in with a little towel to dab on, and then one that stays clean so you don't contaminate your colours. Let's put some of these watercolours onto my palette. There we go. Um, I don't really know what to say beyond this point, so uh, let's just get started, eh? Wish me luck!
so this is what I have so far. I'm quite happy from my first attempt at uh, watercolour with the Cotman watercolour paint. Um, <laughs> apart from the skin here, it seems to, uh, the dye, sorry, the pigment, seems to have gathered at the water edges. Maybe that's a me thing, maybe it's a paint thing, I'm not sure. We'll just have to keep trying with them and see, I think. Um, I am going to line it, don't worry. Uh, but I thought first, we need to put in a background circle. Yes, hello, Firefly. Hey, what do you mean you don't know Firefly? What's this? Hi, Mr. Fishy. Mr. Fishy says hello. Kill me, Firefly. Please kill me. Kill me, Firefly. No? No? You want to be friends with Mr. Fishy instead? I see. So, to put in a background circle, maybe introduce Mr. Cup. <laughs> uh, Mr. I'm thinking of maybe one here and then a smaller one here. What do you guys think? Just to balance it out a bit? Or I can do one in the middle, but I feel like that's like the really obvious thing to do. I could do the small one here and the big one here, but I feel like it needs more at the top, so I'm going to do big one here. Hope for the best. And so that's, excuse me while I just stand over here. Boom, 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 boom. Hoping I'm not drawing over. Okay, that's good. We like that. Okay, was there a fair bit? No, okay. And then, what do you think? A small one here? Yeah, let's say a small one here. Oh, that's not straight. Let's just correct that slightly. <laughs> Okie dokie, thank you Mr. Cup! <laughs> Mr. Cup there. Let's just correct this line a little bit. Oh, I love these so much! They just, they erase like a dream! Okay, I'm just going to need to erase the lines so that I can see them just well enough. To know where to put the colours. Maybe I'll do like a fancy watercolor effect. We'll see. See how brave I'm feeling. Um. <laughs> Possibly I won't, but we'll see. Okay, let's do this.
Now I want to let this really, really dry, like properly, properly dry. So I'm probably going to go wash my hair and make lunch and stuff. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to ink it. Yay! So <laughs> I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, I'm back. And maybe before I left to have my shower, I might have added some extra bubbles. Eat. <laughs> anyway, it's time to do the line art. And I don't know whether I should choose black or whether I should use colored fine liners. When I look at the art of uh, Naoko Takeuchi, she does both. So I think I'm just gonna um, trust Trust what I prefer doing, which is use coloured fine liners. Okay, let's do it. just going to add some highlights just a few with my white gel pen So here we have one mystery bubble tea inspired Sailor V painting. What do you think of her? I actually really enjoyed using watercolour and doing Sailor Moon, or Sailor V in this case, <laughs> fan art. I'd actually quite like to draw some more Sailor Scouts, so um, let me know who you'd like to see and maybe I'll draw them. 
I think I might actually end up doing them all. Maybe some other shoujo characters. What is your favourite shoujo anime or manga? I think it'd be fun to, to experiment, really. See if I can get better at watercolour at the same time. Well, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do feel free to leave a comment in the section below about what you enjoyed most. Feel free to subscribe, follow, share, set notifications to all, all that usual business. You can get links to my Instagram at Enchanted Violin in the box below, as well to my online comic companions. And I'll see you next time. Bye!